Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some very basic techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro, and then we're gonna import that into After Effects. And as an example, Swifty sent me video from the gaming house, and I'm gonna edit that original footage in Adobe Premiere, then import it into After Effects to add some special effects and add it to Legends of the Arena. So stay tuned, because I've got some more of these tutorials. If you guys like this video and you like this channel, please give me a subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think, and give it a like. Thanks guys, and I hope you enjoy. Welcome to another Legends of the Arena. This is where we match up some of the best, uh, some of the best known players. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another Legends of the Arena. This is where we match up some of the best known players, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and top rated players in 1v1 duels in arenas. We have an exciting matchup this week. It's gonna be the rank one warrior gladiator, Pilaf. And yeah, Pilaf. Versus a 2700 rated Boomkin and YouTuber Thyrat. It's gonna be a very exciting matchup. We do have a prize to get matchup. We do have a prize to get We have an amazing pro. prize to give away in this video. It's gonna be this epic prize right here. Now for a chance to win this prize, make sure to be subscribed. Leave a comment saying for a chance to win this prize, make sure to be subscribed and leave a comment saying who do you want to see fight next week. You guys ready for the duels? Hope you enjoy. You guys ready for some duels? Hope you enjoy. One shot. Almost one shot. But hey, have any of you guys ever tried to do announcing? Alright. If you guys watch these videos and you're watching Swifty here and like, uh, he does a second take. Dude. This is hard. I've tried to do this announcing before. I suck at it. Like, yeah. Swifty's really good at it. Oops. Oops, that's a surgical term. I learned it at the med school. Versus a 2700 rated Boomkin and YouTuber Thyras. It's going to be a very exciting matchup. We have an amazing prize to give away in the... Thyras. It's gonna We have an amazing prize to give away. We have an amazing prize to give away in this video. It's gonna be this epic prize right here. Ooh, I wonder what it is. This prize. Make sure to be subscribed. Leave a comment saying for a chance to win this prize, make sure to be subscribed and leave a comment saying saying. Leave a comment for a chance to win this prize. Make sure to be subscribed. Now, for a chance to win this prize, for a chance to win, for a chance to win this prize, make sure to be subscribed. So now, what we do is uh, I just save this into um, you know, Premiere is really nice for just like scrolling through all of the, the footage and just doing a big cut. Now, we come into After Effects and we're gonna put it in, yeah. We're gonna put it all the way in After Effects on the timeline, it's gonna be good. So here's what you gotta do, you gotta go to Import and uh, you don't just go to Import File, or at least I don't. If you're gonna import Premiere into After Effects, here's a little trick, right? Here's a little key I want to share with you. Uh, I think what I think is the best way to do it. Um, you go to import and you import Adobe Premiere Pro project. This is why I like to use Premiere. And if you guys use like Sony Vegas or something to do just like simple cuts, uh, if you want to use After Effects too, you should just use Premiere because you can do this. And this is like the pro mode. So I go over here to the uh, Premiere project and it lets me import the sequence just the way it is. It imports the files and the sequence like this. Here's what I just did. This is my work that I just did in uh, Premiere. And I can copy it over just right away like this into um, into this, this composition that I made. And the composition already has some color adjustments that I did. So I did some uh, sharpening, you know, make Swifty a little bit sharper and um, bring down the hue and saturation a little bit. 
depending on how the color looks, I can actually add some uh, additional colors, but I don't need to. It's not necessary. I don't need to adjust the hue. I'm just going to leave it like that, but I might add a little bit of unsharp mask on it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. And giving a like and giving a comment is a free way to support the channel. Definitely hook me up. And in return, I'm going to hook you up with some tips and tricks on how to improve the quality of your YouTube videos. Right on, guys. See you next time.